When Ashwaji Bola Ametinubu became the governor of Lagos State in 1990, 99, there was only one ambulance in the service of the Lagos State Government. Lagos was earning the princely sum of 700 million every month as our internally generated revenue. Now Lagos is earning 51 billion naira every month as its internally generated revenue. Lagos is the third largest economy in Africa and the world is in transition. What is important for a Nigerian leader of the next dispensation must be a leader who has a mastery of financial management capabilities and someone who understands the Nigerian psychology, someone who appreciates and understands the complexity of the Nigerian nation. Here, you have a city boy who has transformed Lagos into a home for all. My brother seated here. He calls Lagos home, not Auka. Ashwajibola Ahmed Tinubu has established an excellent track record of performance. He has mentored men and women who are excelling in different fields of human endeavor. And the world is changing. And the trajectory of global growth is facing Africa, and Nigeria will make or mar that transition. And as Chinua Achebe said, the problem of Nigeria is purely and essentially that of leadership. Once we get the leadership question right, everything will fall into place. In this age when others are talking of artificial intelligence, when others are talking of nanotechnology or biotechnology, we need a leader who has the skill set, who has the understanding of the global economy to shepherd us in this age. And if you, if you get one, you are getting one for free. He's the city boy. I am the golden boy of Zenith. In Jim Obia's world, the sole barometer for assessing people is your level of competence and your input. In the history of Zenith Bank, no one, I dare say, apart from the legendary Adara Umeji, no one grew faster in the history of Zenith than my humble self. I have mentored men who are excelling in different fields of human endeavor. As I said earlier, the world is watching at us. And the ultimate measure of a man, as Martin Luther King said, is not why he stands at times of comfort and convenience, but why he stands at times of challenges and difficulties. I urge my learned colleagues here, my learned friends here, to be rational, to be calm. You should have the boldness and the courage to make informed decisions, not emotional decisions. Here we are, on the threshold of making history. In the United Kingdom, Rishi Sunak, a young man of Indian descent, is about to become the Prime Minister of Britain. I ask you all to align yourself with the aspirations of the APC candidate, fundamentally because of his competence. He has an established track record of performance. Lagos is now a tourist destination of choice in the West African sub-region. Lagos produces 75% of the bad collections in this country. Lagos has the bosom, has the generosity of spirit to embrace all. And we are going to recreate the Lagos experience all over the country. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I ask you, I beseech you, I call on you to use your rational sense of judgment. Make informed judgment on who you are going to vote for in the next dispensation. It's absolutely essential that you vote for competence for capacity, for a leader who can lead us to the promised land. It's absolutely essential. Yes. I assure you, 
Wola Ahmed Tinebu is the man to beat. Thank you so much, and may God bless us.